All right, guys. Um, today we're going to talk about substitution. Um, this is one way to deal with solving a system of equations. Um, so substitution is exactly like what it sounds. Substitution, you're going to take one thing and replace something else of equal value. Um, and this way we can kind of solve for one of our variables, x or y, um, first. So for this problem right here, um, we want to look through both of our problems and, and identify a variable that is by itself or the closest to being by itself. So if I look at this first one, 3x plus y equals negative 3. x has got a number in front of it or a coefficient in front of it, so that one's not what we'd want to solve for. y is pretty close to being by itself, but I would still have to move this 3x. So that's a good option, but i got to check my other problem to see um, if there's a variable already by itself down there. And in this problem, we have x already by itself. It's equal to negative y, negative y um, plus 3. So because x is by itself, this is what we're going to substitute into our other problem. So I'm going to take this x and replace this x with its value. Okay? So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this negative y plus 3, because we said it's equal to x, and I'm going to plug it in or substitute it in for the x in our other problem. Okay? What that would look like is now I'm going to bring this problem down below, and I'll have 3, and instead of x, I'm going to replace it with what x was equal to negative y plus 3. The rest of the problem up here I will continue writing out plus y equals negative 3. Okay. From here this is just our algebra solving skills. We're going to solve for our y. So here I'm going to distribute 3 times negative y, 3 times 3. So 3 times negative y gets me negative 3y. Three, 3 times 3 gets me 9. The rest of the problem again is still staying the same. Okay. This is a common spot where some students um, will make, an act, make, a, make a mistake. Um, our equal sign is over here, close to the right. Our variables are both on the left side, so we would just combine our like terms here. Um, so I would not have to do an opposite operation or inverse operation to move this y. I would just say negative 3y plus 1y. Okay, so negative 3 plus 1, when we combine our like terms, gets me negative 2y plus 9 equals negative 3. All right, from here we're solving, so I'm going to subtract my 9 from both sides. I got negative 2y equals negative 12. At this point, I can divide both by negative 2 to get my y completely by itself, and I get y equals 6. Okay, this is half of my answer. I have now found my y value for my point. And again, our point is an x and a y value, so I found half my answer. So I'm going to put over here in my parentheses blank and 6. Okay? For me to find this x value, I can take what I found for y and plug it back into whichever problem I prefer. Okay? At this point, you look and decide which one you think is a little easier. Um, I'm going to do the top problem here and plug it into this one just because I don't like this negative y. A lot of students don't like the negative, so that's why I just choose one that everything is positive. Okay? So I'm going to replace the y value. Again, you can pick either problem. I'm just going to choose the top. So here when I plug this in, here separate this. When I plug this in, I'll have 3x plus, and again now because I found y equals 6, I can replace the y with 6. And now again I'm going to solve. Solve for my x now, so I'd subtract 6 from both sides. We get 3x equals negative 9, divide by 3, and I have my final answer negative 3 for my x. Okay? Again, our system of equations, we're finding a point for a solution. So here's my point, negative 3, 6. Okay? This would be substitution where it's really, really obvious there's one variable completely by itself. Okay? I'm going to give you another problem, I'll write out another problem here um, that represents our substitution or how we do our substitution if it wasn't set up where there was already a variable completely by itself. Okay? So here's our second problem. If I had 7x plus 10y equals 36, and my other part here was negative 2x plus y equals 9. Okay, For this, i got to look through and see what variable can I get by itself, or is already most by itself. So in the top problem, I've got a coefficient or a number in front of each variable, so this problem I don't like. Okay, 7x and 10y, I'm going to have to do a lot of work to get one of those variables by itself. If I look at the second problem, I've got a negative 2 in front of the x, so I prefer not to mess with this. And then I have a y. The y is all by itself or has a 1 for its coefficient. So that would be the easiest one for us to solve for. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this problem over here to the side and try to solve this piece. Okay, so I'm going to solve over here negative 2x plus y equals 9. I'm going to solve to get this y by itself. This usually takes about one step. Okay, so here to get my y by itself, I need to get rid of this negative 2x. So I'll add 2x to both sides. I now have my y by itself. That's the goal, to have one variable by itself so I can substitute it in to my other problem. Okay, so here I have my y. I have to plug it into the other problem. I can't plug it back into the same problem. If I do that, it ends up getting zero equals zero every time. All the stuff just completely cancels out. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this y over here, replace it, and that other problem. Again, it's equal to nine plus two x, so that is what I'm plugging in for the y value over here. Again, I'm gonna write this out. Everything will stay the same, seven x plus 10. I'm replacing the y value here with nine plus two x, because that's what we said y was equal to, equals 36. Everything else about that problem stays the same, okay? So now, I'm gonna go through and solve for x. Again, helpful to put the line down. I distribute my 10. 10 times 9 is 90, 10 times my 2 is 20x, okay? At this point, again, I'm going to combine my like terms. Again, they're on the same side, so I don't have to do any inverse or subtraction or do the opposite here. I'm just going to do what it says. So positive 7 plus my 20 gets me 27x plus 90 equals 36, okay? So at this point... I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that x by itself. To do that, I've gotta subtract my 90 from 36, and I get negative 54, so minus 90 on both sides. Here I have my 27x, okay? Divide to get my x by itself, that's the goal, is get one of our variables solved for, so I get negative two, okay? This is again half of my answer. This is not my entire answer, so I'm gonna put over here, Negative two is my x value. I'm looking for my y. I'm gonna kind of box off this section here so we can see what we're solving for. So now I'm gonna plug this x value into either one of these problems. Again, your choice completely. Last time I did the top problem, so this time I'm gonna do the bottom problem. So I'm gonna plug it in for my x here. I'll have negative two. I replace the x value with what I found it to be, which was negative two, plus y equals nine. Again, this x comes from right here where we solved, okay? We solve this, negative two times negative two is four. I subtract to get my y by itself, so I get y equals five. So my final solution here is negative two, five, okay? Um, the only thing I haven't shown with substitution is occasionally what can happen, like here at the beginning, if I did this distributing, you can occasionally lose your x values. So in that case, I might have a seven x minus seven x. When that happens, you'll just have the x just drop completely out. That's okay. And on this problem, I would just have like 90 equals 36. You ask yourself if the variables go away, does it actually work? So if I had 90 equals 36, that doesn't make any sense. Those aren't equal. So I would have no solution as my answer. Okay? And you could stop right there once the variables go away. Um, again, if I had the same situation, it was 7x and this was negative 7x, and they canceled out, and let's say I had 90 here and 90 here. If I had 90 equals 90, when the variables drop out, that does work, that is true. So my answer would be infinite solutions, okay? So those are the two extra kind of special cases um, when you're doing your substitution or even elimination, all right? Hopefully this helps. Again, this is substitution for solving systems.